I sat at my desk and said, dang, where's my bags? And I thought to myself, after having that emotional moment, then coming back in saying, let me grab my phone to call Tracy to call my mama. Hey, my phones are gone, plural. The phones are gone. Coach Sanders said his phone, his credit cards, his wallet, and his watches all were taken from his office in the locker room. I'm walking in, the guy is literally in your face. And I'm like, did you want to come help me with this? This is a big dude. I caught him, he was in Coach Prime's office, going through his stuff. Dude had to audacity look at me and say, what time is it? I said, oh my God, dude took everything. I'm not going to be the last fool to get robbed while something is going on, but I can hope with my transparency, I can eliminate a whole lot of people for being robbed while they're doing what they're gifted to do. It's going to be my security team now. It ain't going to be, I'm not doing that no more. It's just not right. It's, it's not who we are. It's not what I'm going to tolerate because there's been so many things tolerated for years. I'm not going to tolerate it, and I'm not going to condone it uh, whatsoever, and it ain't going to happen no more or it's going to be a problem. And the cause ain't for me, it's just for these kids, and, and we're gonna have a greater expectation. I didn't like someone trying to make me seem like I lied. I don't I don't like that. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm brutally honest, if anything. I was brought here to shed light on the things that ain't right, and to bring light to the things that are. And I'm gonna do both. Next question. Coach Prime is presented by Chevy Silverado. Hey, guys, 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 guys. Y'all are going through the motion. I'm going to blow this whistle, and we're going to start over. Y'all are going through the motion right now. The line is going through the motion. We're going through the motion. The line is going through the motion. Start it over. Start it over. Start the whole darn thing over. The line is garbage right now. Start it over. Run. Y'all don't want to run during practice. Everybody on the line. Y'all don't want to practice today. Let's get on the line. Everybody on the line. Everybody, let's go. We don't want to work today. Let's go. Let's get something out of it. Run them. You want one game against a garbage team, and y'all acting like you own that. One game against a garbage team. You guys got four plays. Get whatever four you got, and that's it. And we go at full speed. We don't go full speed, you're going home. I mean, home, home. We gonna watch one at a time. So, cause I want coach to come watch this garbage offensive line and this garbage look they giving them. Y'all better get to the ball too. On the line, 55, 57 did not get to the ball. On the line, won one darn game. And we think we great. Is that reason the 92 ain't up and down? Is that reason? Is there any reason? What's the reason? You hurt where? Your groin ain't got nothing to do with the up down. Hey man, get off the field. Get rid of him. Let's go. And I don't, don't nobody comes to my office for a meeting for him. Nobody. Let's go. We ain't sneaking up on nobody else. We're not gonna sneak up on nobody else. If they think we gonna sneak up on somebody, we not. They're going to be ready to play. We're going to get every team's best shot. It's hard being the hunter. Because you, when you're getting hunted, you in survival mode. We've been to the highest level. Yes. And we've seen, seen how it's going to look. Exactly. Folks on the inside had it. Right. So when they on me and critical about what we're demanding, you don't know. Right. Because you're only basing this right. off of what yes. you've seen. Exactly. And what, you, and what you've been accustomed to. Right. This, is, this was good enough. What well, was good enough in the past, but it's no longer the past. No new standard. Exactly. But when I told you yesterday after practice, we got to draw a circle around ourselves and stay tight. I really mean we got to stay tight. Everything in this room has to be family. You got to look at it like that. You got to look at it like it's family. We got to look alike. We got to dress alike. We got to act alike. We got to talk alike. We got to regurgitate smart, fast, tough discipline. That's who we are as family. And when we win, that gives us a lot of power, a lot of authority, because there's been complacency like crazy in regards to football. We're going to change all that. But that change 
just magnifies and permeates through the whole campus, man, and all other sports. We're going to challenge everybody to step their game up on the field and off the field and in the community. Now, I want to show you who we are. These are a few clips that our coaches pull, but this is who we are. Let's go. Look at everybody else, though, man. Where you at? We just scoring. Y'all acting like this happened on the regular last year. <laughs> this kind of joke ain't happening. Come on, man. Real talk. We're doing a new thing, man. You got new siblings, new brothers and sisters, man. Now, this is what I love. How many? Count them, count them. We only have one. We got the one. That's the lazy one all the time, right? That's the one I get on all the time. That's the only one. He got a lazy spirit in him. We're gonna get that out of him, though. Cause he wants to go in the top five. Ain't happening like that. Look at that. Come on, Nugget. Let's go. Let's get there. My name is Dejon Nugget Warren. I'm a cornerback. I'm a junior. And what else? That's it. Oh, all right, cool. Nugget is the kind of kid when he learns the intricate details of this game and the do's and don't and situation, hand placement and hips and all. When Nugget learns that, Nugget is gonna be a problem. He doesn't have a slow mode or anything like that or a walkthrough mode. Everything is fast paced for him. And, and it shows on why he made as many interceptions he did and why he was the number one DB coming out of, uh, or the number one player coming out of Juco. Fast and physical today, y'all. Fast and physical. Stay on your man. Stay on your man, Nugget. That's what I'm talking about. That's the way to finish it, dog. Before I return kicks, I return punts. And I scored my first touchdown. So my coach here asked me what my name was. So I ripped off my helmet, and I was like, my name is Dejon Warren. So he looked at me, and he laughed, and I was like, I'm going to call you Nugget. And it just stuck from there. Oh, yeah, as soon as I met Nugget, I knew he was going to be cool. So just uh, seeing how he works and how we communicate on the field is, is real nice. Oh, shout out! Shout out! The sky's the limit. He's a, he's a sponge, so if you tell him something, he's going to believe it, and he's going to do just what you tell him. So you got to watch what you tell him in regards to his game as well as life. You're looking at the ball, Nugget. You're timing the ball. Sit. Hit. OK. OK. Be careful how you come up. Y'all know your assignment. Then let's go out there and run through somebody's face. Yeah. We were the number one player in junior college football. I broke a few records up there. And then on my birthday, which was August 24th, I committed to the University of Georgia. And at the time, I thought that was a place for me. And then shortly after that, next thing you know, Coach Prime came knocking on the door. First thing that went through my mind was, I need to be developed. I don't got that much football experience, to be honest. And it's my first year playing corner. So why not go learn from the best? And I feel like it's the best decision I made since I've been in college. Baller, never complains about practice, never complains about anything, wants to play on every day that ends with a Y and is ready. He's gonna take the challenge with anybody you throw up there. And I love it, I really do. We're looking for three more nuggets right now. And that's gonna be hard to come by because he's gonna play on Sunday one day. Majority of these kids aren't going to make it to the NFL. Shoot, 95, 96, 98 percent. That's why we're trying to get them to understand that uh, you don't have to be a professional athlete, but you got to be a professional. Last time I checked Forbes magazine, the richest person in the world never picked up a ball, a bat, or a glove, or nothing. So we got to get them ready. We got to prepare them, man. We got to, they, they're, to me, they're like arrows that they just need to be aimed and pointed in the right direction, man, and they're going to soar. But if you build it, they shall come. If you build it. You got to build it, though. You got to build it. You need that. Put your hands on the desk if you want to. Yeah, own it. Like, this your house. Own it. Um, I, I, um, where did um, that come from? Um, if you're talking to a girl and she's talking to you, you're going to say, what's your name? Um. No, sir. That's right. Me and the guys have been working hard, being smart, fat, tough, and disciplined. Coach said it's going to be a test, so we, we ready to go for a, to put on a show, and it's going to be a dog fight, but we're going to come out with it in the end. But we here to... We lift them up. Hmm? They have a great ball club. The better we lift them up, and when we, we tear them down, who looks great? So nice. let's always lift them up. They had a nice little run uh, with their little streak at home, but... No, no, you little streak. <laughs> <laughs> Not a little streak. Do they good with their streak? Good. They had a nice little run with their streak at home, but this is a different year. This is a different type of team. Like, I feel the energy in the, and we just ready. Like, we just trying to go down there and come home with a dub. It wasn't bad. 
You all right? All right. You going? <laughs> Come on, Nugget, man. Get off them chicks on Instagram. <laughs> To be honest, I know as much as the scouting report. That's all I know, to be honest with you, because I didn't know much about much about HBCU football until I got here. So I just gain information from my teammates, and I just take that with the scouting report. I like it. You don't have to say to be honest, because that's implying everything else is a lie. OK. You don't have to say that, but everything else is good. <laughs> yeah. It's like a girl say, you like me, to be honest. <laughs> all right, I, I got you. <laughs> all right, that's it, cool. What did she give you for my birthday? Ned? No, you have a four bedroom house and two cars, OK? Next for the jury, wardrobe on fleek. You're in college. Who does that? See, now, when I get my money and I end up buying you a car for your birthday, I, I, want, I want the same I energy. Said, I want a truck. I want that's what I'm saying. Truck. A, I a truck, truck or something like I only want one truck. I already and told that's you the thing, like, at this rate, that's not going to happen. So it ain't going to happen. I'm going to just give out the you same got, energy that I received. So give me two cars, then. Just like that, you got. You got two. You got two cars. You got two. You got two cars. You got four. You got two cars. Right. You know what my dad told me when I asked him the same question. Daddy boy said, "Son, you look good every time I see you." Basically, he was telling me, "You ain't got nothing coming." <laughs> straight with a straight face, dog. You go over there. He said, "Man, you look good every time I see you, dog." birthday to my favorite son. Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Happy birthday to my sons, uh, one turning 21, one turning 19. It's been wonderful, it's been eventful, it's been a blessing, it's been challenging, it's been all of that, but I have enjoyed uh, the journey. Now, I'm blessed to be the head coach here at this prestigious D. I Love Jackson State University where I get to see my babies grow, mature, develop, and become men right in front of our eyes. So happy birthday, young man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I was 21, I was big. <laughs> <laughs> hey. No, but it feels better, like, knowing you got somebody you really could trust on defense and somebody you could, like, count on. Even though he's going to do something stupid. Nah, like, there's going to be something stupid is, every game. It's going to be something, rare. though. Very rare. Come on. <laughs> bro, you got to stop it. I can kiss him. Ain't no brother. He's my leader. Yes. He going to wear 30. He going to wear 37. No. <laughs> I'd rather wear 32. <laughs> Actually, like, I think 37 look good on you. Every number going to look good on me. He keep 37. 21. He'll be the first 37 to go in the Hall of Fame. But look, I got his chain, man. You see what I said? <laughs> Things aren't as sweet for some residents of Jackson, as communities across the region are still left without clean drinking water. I'm the administrator. I manage this facility. Okay, pleasure. How you doing? How you doing? Nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Yeah, my bag. That's my boy. You got heavy or something? What a heavy one. I told you. What y'all playing? Heavy. I water heavy for a minute. Water heavy for a There you go. There you go. Excellent. Wee! Feeling good, ain't you, Wee? Y'all come on around my house after this, the way y'all working. <laughs> I got something for y'all to do. The reason nursing homes are so dear to me, Tuesdays on our off day when I was a Dallas Cowboy, I used to go to South Dallas Nursing Home, and I developed a tremendous relationship with so many of the elderly. Every darn Tuesday, consistent. And I saw so many wonderful things. I saw the smiles on the faces after we had won that Sunday, and they were sort of anticipating me to come on Tuesdays. And anything that I could do back then to bring a smile was awesome. It was a win. Well, that is amazing. Um, I'm just so pleased that 
you guys brought us water. Mm -hmm. um, we have a mission statement here, and it's reconnecting people to lives through individuals, serving individuals, and that's exactly what you did. And we're just so happy to connect with Coach Prime. Thank you. So, yes, thank you. Thank your you staff, so your staff was awesome. They all dressed up. They yeah. looking good and yeah. smiling behind the mask. I can see the eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we appreciate you all. Well, we appreciate this meant, you. It's, it meant a lot to us. It's just not that you received and We received as well. Across town, Shadua grabs lunch with two guys that will be protecting him in the fall. Big Tony Gray and three-star Missouri transfer, Dylan Spence. I never thought I'd be at an HBCU. Never. But then again, HBCU never offer. They don't, especially Nobody. when they see you. They see you got all them offers like Alabama, Clemson, Georgia, and anything like that, they get scared. I oh, don't wish they shouldn't, you feel me? But opportunity, opportunity, I feel like. Chance is chance. What's the difference from? It mean, probably be a little they easier. You and it probably be a little easier. Yeah. Teachers probably work with you a little more. They ain't got as much resources okay. as another school would have, like a power five or. We're here for a reason. Not to waste time. Better work. My whole point of coming was, you know what I'm saying, just to make the team better and do something for the city. I came to make a change, bro. Yeah. Do so something you didn't for the come city. to block for team. me? I came to block for you, but it's bigger than just blocking for you, though. Yeah, exactly. You feel me? It's about the city, bringing light back to this city. You know what I'm saying? All change, of us bro. coming together, making a change for this city, for the town. Yeah, HBCU. You feel me? Yeah. And just bringing a new light to something else, you know what I'm saying? What's this funny, you know? <laughs> I'm proving that. Oh, no, this See, buddy? Go, 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 go ahead and have your bed with him, man. Go ahead. Go get tired of clubs and this man, bro. Back on campus, Coach keeps pushing to have a new practice surface ready for fall. But sometimes getting the right feel can be an all out turf. Good evening, sir. I'm sorry. This is normal for us. <laughs> oh, I understand. <laughs> I understand. This is normal for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how we roll. Yeah. Deion, I'm gonna because I brought them in and they're heavy. I'm gonna pull them out. Okay. Because no problem. I like know. this part. Yeah. <laughs> get, make sure when you pull them out, give me the prices. Like when my suit guy comes, he give me the fabric and he give me the prices of the fabric. <laughs> so I know what we're dealing with. This is a two-layer infill system, which is a little bit more budget conscious. There we go. That's what we want. <laughs> That's what we want. Black too. You see that? That part right there. Still heavier infill than what most of our competitors are putting yeah, in. When we walk out there, I want it, they say, dang, now they, they, here's some work that's going to be done here. Not only the grass field, that could be 40, 50 yards where the linemen will get their work in mostly, but the turf field are very, where we get main work in, but also we got goal, new goal posts so we can put them on the side fields over there so the field goal kickers can get their, their stuff in and everything is working in unison. And it's hard to do that with one field. It's hard. But we make it happen, but it's, it's been hard. Man, you know, you got a fresh opportunity for a fresh start. You know, man, you just got to know, take advantage of this opportunity now. You got a, a clean, fresh slate, fresh start. I mean, go ahead and just know, hey, make a name for yourself here. 15 back door, right here. See, that's where you mess it up here, man. It should stick to you first though. As you were saying, 12 in the corner. That thing coming here, man, it's going to be a good, overall, it's going to be good, man. It keeps you more grounded, man. You get a little more culture. You get a chance to help somebody else out, man. You got so many guys at the home that look up to you, yeah. they're following you, man. They keep asking, man, man, how AJ doing? How are we doing this? Man, I'm ready to see him play. I mean, so you don't know how you really inspire somebody else, you know, from older to younger. I mean, then, no, next step is ain't going to the next level. So where you see yourself in the next two years then? Two I mean, to three like years. Where I envision myself? Yep. In the league. Who you want to play with her? I already know who I want to play for, man. I'm playing for that big star, man. I'm playing for Dallas. <laughs> Just like it's time to showcase. I don't got no that much time to man, waste no more. You gotta look at all them setbacks you had. You gotta know you got a story to tell. So people see the glory, but they don't they see the glory, but they don't know the story. You know, from the, from the high school, Pee Wee ball and all the stuff that you had to go through, the transition from making transferring schools in high school, 
All that stuff, man, has made you, developed you into who you are now. You went through a lot of different transitions. No, everybody don't know everything you've been through. But you know, one day you get a chance to tell that story, but you tell you can't stop. Yeah. You gotta make it, man. You know, you put, you know, put yourself in the spotlight, man. But what you're doing, your work ethic, your mindset, that determination. There's a refuse to be denied. As the team builds momentum, both personally and as a program, distractions will arise to threaten the progress. It's the coach's job to make sure a battle doesn't turn into a war. Two big fellows got into a verbal altercation in the locker room that could possibly escalate into some fisticuffs. How can we solve this? Because we got some bull We know it's some bull junk. So what, what's, the, what's the root of it? The fruit of it is the foolishness. So what's the root? The root. Let's get to the root of it and dig it up so we can get rid of it. What I'm hearing is it comes from the way he treats me. Right. In the offensive line room. Okay. That's the whole situation. Right. With that being said, it starts animosity between us. Like, oh, they can't trust me. They saying, oh, they can't trust me. This and third, I'm going against the grain, telling the coaches about what's going on. Y'all ain't no gang. Y'all ain't no street team. Y'all ain't none of that. Y'all just some college kids trying to make a way. It's how he walk around. He just think he all this and that. Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. What you just said is very profound. What you do, you only understand what you just said. What you said is how he walk around. No, I'm not saying, I'm saying how he, how he treat us, like he just over us or something, cuz you don't, you don't run nothing with me. I know. You're not my coach. Okay, but yeah. he ain't, has, he, he, has he tried to coach you? He wasn't even that coach. He don't even know what just happened. I'm, I'm asking you, has he tried to coach you? No matter when I say y'all gonna take this or that, so. Get out, man. I ain't got time for it. Go ahead, I ain't got time for it. Yeah, you no, no, go ahead. Come on, 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 now you talking, dog. No, what, what you saying, you don't understand what you saying is something inside you that irks you about this gentleman. Something that's inside him that's bothering you. And you can't see that. When I first got here, it was me, him, and shit. Right. Together. So what happened? And he? That's what Coach just asked me. What happened? He what? It, it was a little problem that they turned to some big. And then we, me and him got the argument way back home. Then I all started from there. Okay, you got dog. Why y'all ain't fixing? I don't have nothing against him. But why y'all? Yes, you do. I'm trying to figure out why are you mad. I got something to do. I can't help. You, I didn't have to come to that stable, brother. That's uh, I'm done. I can't. You're right. You're right. Man, bro, you can't play like I'm sorry. Who playing like? Who is playing like? Hey, 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 hey. Relax. 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 And when you first, before you even came in, even when you came in, bro, you was around me, bro. We was around each other. And I always told you, bro, hey, we got to be great. We got to be great this year. I never had nothing against you, bro. And I always try to speak highly of you. Right or wrong? Keep it right. You're supposed to talk junk there. You ain't better than me. You're supposed to be like that. I like that about you. But don't go overboard. I would love to see both of y'all go in the first round and then argue about who going out the board first. That's how it's supposed to be. Get to that point. But I promise you, he ain't got nothing against you, and I know you deep down, you ain't got nothing against him. Keep them folks out your head, my brother, because you better than that. And he untold you how he got down, and I like that. You wanted to process it before you spoke to him. That's maturity. Y'all better start showing some respect in this fucking building. This ain't just football that's here. You got multiple people that come in and out of here that got other things to do that's trying to make sure that this is successful for y'all. This is the real world, man. This ain't no damn cakewalk. You feel me? Everything that's here is gonna prepare you for life afterwards. Cause I'm telling you, that better be the last fucking altercation that we have to deal with. Cause it's bullshit. Everybody under stress, everybody dealing with something. You feel me? But y'all are fortunate right now. All of y'all are fortunate right now because y'all got people that's looking out for you, making sure y'all got, these folks ain't got no fucking water, man. You know what I'm saying? So y'all just realize that. Exercise discipline, show appreciation cause y'all don't have to get what y'all getting. God has blessed each and every one of y'all to be here, so act like it, man. It is what it is, and uh, you're gonna have that. That's part of uh, 
mentoring, that's part of coaching, that's part of life. On the hop, energy. Give me some energy. This man, everything should be complete. Everything is complete. You think ain't nobody looking? I'm always looking, baby. You're too high. You have to kite. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> On the ball. Backside ain't blocking nobody. Way to hunt 75. Way to hunt 75. Fourth and one. Way to hunt 75. Diamond, diamond. Way to hunt, big fella. Throw the ball behind him. It changes everything. It changes everything. It changes everything. Did you give it your all today? Simple question. Did you give it your all? Like every play, did you give it your all? Did you empty yourself? Now that you're in center stage, everybody get to see you. Now you turn it on because everybody watching. Are you that type of guy that you got to have eyeballs to do your thing? That means you ain't going to never be nothing on your own. You're going to always need help. Offense, we got to get better. Coaching staff, players, everybody is accountable. I'm accountable. We got to do better. We got to give more. We got to want more. And we got to expect more. Break it down and get with your coaches. It's the first road test of the season for the Tigers against perennial powerhouse Grambling State. And this trip is anything but a vacation. Uh, for one, you know, you got to take all my vitamins, man. I got nothing but vitamins. Make sure I take all my vitamins, get that ready. I got my stem machine. You know, just make sure my, you know, everything is smooth, putting on my groin and hamstring and stuff. Make sure I stem myself. Man, it, it feels good. I mean, I, you know, I ain't played in about two years. You know, we got all eyes on us and being able to play in over two years, so I'm very excited. You think I should bring jewelry? No, no jewelry. It's a business trip. Never been to Grambling. Nothing too crazy. We're not spending a night more than one night, so there's really some clothes, lotion, my toothbrush, shampoo, a pillow for the trip. Gotta have a pillow. I feel like we're going to go in there, just like Coach said, DT said, and beat these boys out to death, man. And then it's a, it's a grass field, right? We got to get me a little shovel, because I want to take some grass home from their field. All right? Give me a little shovel. Because every time we go and whoop somebody, I want some of that grass, and we're going to plant it out there. And I feel we're going to bring it back. All right? We're going to go in there and dig up their grass in that tent. And when we move the tent, they're going to see a big old chunk missing. <laughs> All right? All right, talking about the, the running backs. They run a high tip on offense, high tempo offense. Keelan Edwards, 7.3 yards a carry. I've been knowing this kid since he was seven years old. All right? I'm going to tell you one thing. He's a powerful one inside, but he always wants to bounce. He will put the ball on the ground. As soon as he can cut the daylight, he will. He automatically pulls the ball away from his body. He's been doing it since I've been knowing him. Punch the fucking ball out. And when he bounces outside, he automatically takes his ball. He puts it out here away from his body. All right? Knock the ball out. Knock the ball out. <laughs> Yeah. We're gonna make a big. We're gonna get ready to make a big play. Don't allow Grambling just to continue to run the football. You have to do something to take them out of this mentality. With Grambling State can put it in the end zone. DJ Clark is nearby at the two yard line. It, it, if you're Grambling, you like that. You actually don't want him to score. If he's gonna get the ball there on the two yard line, hey, hey Lyle, yeah. let's go. Suck it up. Let's go. Let's go, Lyle. Let's get it on. Big play right here. Big play right here. Elder lost the football. Recovered by Jackson State's Keontae Hampton. We said he's gonna go. We said he's gonna go. Win. Coach Prime has put the swag on notice. Jackson State is back, and they're coming for everybody. 
We got game right here, man. Get that thing. 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 Get when they had their back against the wall, they found a way to make a play. It's how much I trust y'all. I said, go handle this business at halftime. on the next episode of Coach Prime. You can't play this game forever, man. What I'm here for today is to understand what is the expectation that you have for yourself. This game is fucking beautiful. It's the only sport that it takes courage to play. This bull jump is going to stop today. But you got to do it. You got to commit to each other. That's why I keep my foot on the gas. That's why I keep my foot on your throat. That's why I keep my hand around your neck, because I'm crazy enough to believe in every one of y'all, and I got a darn expectation. They can't deal with us. We got them all day. It's time to eat, babe.